Hello, everybody. I'm Mike Tazi. I'm the CEO of Taz Medical, and we seek to eliminate the need for surgical mesh and abdominal surgery and to convert procedures to minimally inv invasive repair. So there's currently 54,000 hernia mesh lawsuits in the United States, and that number is growing. Uh, it's difficult to turn on the television after the 11 o'clock hour and not see a commercial uh, by attorneys looking for hernia mesh patients. And if you recently attended the uh, American Hernia Society in Vegas just last month, they spent an entire day on this subject on Tuesday. And you left that conference really feeling like this is one of the biggest problems in general surgery today. So there's currently 350,000 ventral hernias just in the United States. Almost all of them are being performed via an open procedure in spite of the fact that there are significant advantages from length of stay as well as back to work recovery when you consider the laparoscopic approach. The current laparoscopic approach certainly does have some disadvantages to it, and we believe that a technology that can provide a full thickness abdominal wall closure during, an, during a laparoscopic procedure would be a real game changer in this space. So let's, let's show you how, how we intend to do that at Taz Medical. Here's a brief animation describing our technology. closure during minimally invasive ventral hernia repair. A subcutaneous guide is inserted across the subcutaneous space. With the guide in place, a delivery needle is placed to allow the insertion of our proprietary zip strap designed for fast and durable hernia closure. On the contralateral side, a hook needle is inserted through the distal hole of the guide and down into the laparoscopic space. This needle captures the zip strap and pulls it out of the body. With the strap positioned correctly, the guide can be pulled across the subcutaneous space, completing a full thickness abdominal loop around the hernia defect. As both ends of the strap are now together, closure can be achieved with our proprietary tension measurement device. This novel tightening solution allows for complete tension measurement and closure of the ventral hernia defect during a laparoscopic procedure. So medical grade zip strap technology, uh, providing a full thickness abdominal wall closure for the first time during a laparoscopic procedure. And animations always look great, and so we also have some preclinical validation to share with you. This was a large animal that we, we did. It had a natural abdominal hernia, as you can see. We used our transabdominal strap to fix this hernia. This is an image of our subcutaneous guide going across the subcutaneous space. Uh, more images. This procedure took us 25 minutes to complete. This particular image is showing you a distal portion of our strap has a very accessible loop, making it easy to create this loop. Uh, full thickness strap in action here. And then at the end of the procedure, we have them lined up sequentially so that we can close these as, as such. Here's an image showing you how we go about closing it. Oh, it didn't, didn't show it. But they close all together, providing a full thickness closure. We did a 30-day follow-up on this animal. Uh, as you can see, the before picture, and then at 30 days, uh, we were very excited to see the outcome. We had a completely closed ventral hernia, rather large ventral hernia. We also did a laparoscopic view to take a look to see what that looked like. We were extremely excited to see the re-endothelialization re around, around the strap. Um, and so this preclinical validation shows that our concept works, and we're excited to bring it to the market uh, to eliminate the need for mesh and also to uh, convert procedures. In doing so, there's a huge cost reduction. We say $5,000 per procedure. There's a $4,000 increase in reimbursement for a ventral hernia performed laparoscopically. We've got an amazing team with Dr. Guy Veller and Dr. Carl LeBlanc who are guiding us through our product development as well as our clinical rigor. Uh, collectively, we've taken 20 other early stage medical device ideas and made them commercial. I'll leave this last slide up for Q&A. Um, uh, we've had some great interaction, by the way, with strategics early on. But we're about a year away, a little over a year away from FDA clearance. Uh, we've raised a million and a half dollars, and we're, we're just super excited to eliminate mesh and bring patients to a minimally invasive surgery.